Years ago now, a famous theoretical physicist was asked which human shortcoming he thinks should be removed from the human race if such a thing were possible. And he said aggression. And he opined that, oh, it may have been useful once upon the time for you know, acquiring food and things like that, but basically now it's just a liability. And this is a famously intelligent man, but it doesn't matter. What matters is whether what he said was smart. I would argue on that particular topic that He has no reason to assume that we don't still need aggression for the acquisition of things. We can't ever necessarily detach aggression from proactivity or any other qualities that are desirable. They were never separate in our evolution. Why would they be separable now? It's at least cause for doubt. And the idea, oh, aggression bad is a simplistic idea that anyone could have come up with. Now, I'm not going to, like, shame the man or whatever because, you know, he was asked this question and he gave his opinion as a person who happens to be smart. But in my opinion, it was not a smart opinion. So if you're following the difference, I am saying my position is It doesn't matter how smart you are. It doesn't matter. What matters is, are the thoughts that you've been having on this topic smart? You can't appeal to your intelligence or someone else's intelligence to say something's right, and you can't appeal to someone's lack of intelligence to say that they're wrong. It's all about whether what they've said is in itself, on analysis, rationally speaking, smart or not. And the flip side of that could be, apart from dismissing someone else because they're, um, you know, not smart or in some stereotypical sense not smart, there's also a habit people have of when called out on something they're thinking or something they're saying not being smart, they retreat into a passive-aggressive kind of, I'm not smart, oh, I must be stupid then, something like that, to escape the, I guess, rational imperative to change their opinion based on the new information because they can just shelter in the you know, the implied straw man or the actual low confidence belief that they're stupid and they don't have to correct what they've said then. They can just bypass any rational process by wallowing in insecurity or whatever um, trick they've learned to do to deflect having to admit that they're wrong. So not, none of this is new information, really. It's, it's, all, it's all about arguments from the person being fallacious and the arguments themselves being what we need to concern ourselves with. And from my point of view, with my interest in mimetic health and hygiene, given that ideas are infectious and can be parasitic and can exploit weaknesses in our own psyches, We need to be even more careful about separating ourselves and our ideas when we think about things.